Okay, for P3-16, this one's kind of counterintuitive, and I've done this one several ways before, but uh, what it always ends up um, always ends up being is that we kind of generate this angle, and then from the bottom, we extrude, extrude these two shapes up. So I'm going to stay with that, uh, that technique, but then I'm going to introduce one with a, um, uh, with surfaces. So file new, this is in inches. <clears throat> uh, let's go into the right plane and I'm going to create a rectangle. All right, and rectangles still can be pretty useful even with the uh, an angle because I can get rid of one relation and turn it into that more trapezoidal shape. All right, more angled shape. So 3.5 on the length and 1.63 on the height. And we have 0.63 on the other end. And so my feature will be to extrude. And doesn't really matter which way, I kind of see it going that way to a distance of 2.38. And we complete the, uh, the selection. All right, so from the base, and then this is where it gets tricky, is because I'm going to lose my perspective pretty easily. Uh, let's convert to uh, two edges. So I'm going to select, control, select, and convert the entities, and then I want to make sure that that's a good selection. All right, that when I extrude those out, I'm going to end up with the desired result. All right, so 1.75 on that length. Again, any of the convert entities, I'm going to be able to pull the uh, the endpoint unless I've added a dimension or otherwise defined it and clicked a little too soon there all right so 1.75 by 0.5 at this end and then I need two lines, so let's go back into a top view. All right, and that's something else I could have done when I was at the um, at the bottom view, opening the sketch on the bottom, put me normal to it, uh, to the bottom. So I could have uh, switched to the um, Control Five top view and done the sketch to keep my orientation and my perspective. Uh, consistent. All right, so control seven to go to isometric, just to make sure one more time before I complete the extrude, we have the two regions. All right, so given the direction that it's going, I want to flip the direction and we're going to raise this up two and a half inches. Okay. So that gives me the uh, the desired shape. Now the issue is still with these corners. I'm either going to have to blend, and with these remaining sharps, I can pretty much, you know, if I went to this angle, I could get a, an end mill to run back and forth this way, but the notch and this geometry means that I'm going to have to set up on a wire EDM to have it come in and then it's going to be a blend issue coming across this face depending on how accurate my touch off is of getting the wire to come in and create that geometry because I can't do that in just one setup so if I can include some radiuses I still have a blend issue but I might be able to get it if it really needed to be a uh, consistent surface and again, depending on surface roughness and everything else, I might be able to get it with a three axis. All right, so I said that um, this uh, this completes the um, the exercise, but I said that I wanted to show a surface. So I'm going to suppress the second part here, go back into the sketch, and I'm just going to complete the rest of the, the rectangle. All right, so we had an overall of two and a half. All right, and then because this is not 
and I'm expecting I added geometry. I've created a, uh, a situation where it's going to generate an error. I made a fundamental change to the sketch, and there's nothing wrong with the sketch. It's fully defined. What is wrong is that now I have the contour. So if I pick one shape and another shape, that would give me the contour. Maybe. Let's go ahead and see if it'll produce it. All right, one or more. All right, so since I didn't like the contour, let's see if it'll pick the regions. All right, so the contour pretty much wants to be connected all the way around. All right, so I'm not worried about that one. I am going to show the sketch so that I can use that, um, that geometry. And now we're kind of looking at this in terms of negative space. So I'm just going to trace over the top of that line. And we have a couple of ways that, um, that we could generate this. So one is to insert a surface and extrude it based on that geometry. Going to reverse and it can just go up to vertex. It's not really, um, not really, um, picky on, uh, on where that's going to terminate. All right. And then my sketch geometry, I'm really looking more towards having those, uh, those negative shapes. So let's build from there. I probably could have reused the sketch, but I'm already making this way more complicated than it needs to be. All right, so let's see, from the point to the edge, 0.5, and point to the edge, 1.75. All right, and then we had, between the two lines, 1.25 and 1 inch. All right, so when I go to make this cut, I'm now looking at these two regions are going to be the positive, and these two are going to be the negative, the material that we're removing. All right, so when I go into the extrude cut, I can pick those two regions. It's telling it to go all the way through, but I need an up-to-surface. All right, so this end in condition will now be the surface, and it adds a surface body. So if I can see the surface, I can pick it, but since it's kind of buried inside of the part, I'm going to come over to the surface body, pick the um, surface extrude, and let it complete. All right, so the other option then would be before we generate that, uh, that shape, Let's see if we can we can share. This is again making it more complicated than it's worth. I'm going to um, let's see suppress the uh, the sketch, and we're still having the error because that one changed. And these are what if scenarios, so I'm expecting to uh, to have some issues. All right, and to generate a um, a plane, I can go into the reference geometry. Now let's see what I have available for my plane. All right, so first reference, go to the line, and coincident, if it'll let me have it just on the basis of coincident, it passes through. All right, I need a second reference point. So let's see, that... Um, will pick, but I don't know where that picked from, so that's interesting. Alright, so still going to get that error where I see that explanation point. Alright, so I have the plane, which is going to also act as the, the surface, and with we're going to create the, the shared sketch, so even though that's suppressed, I'm going to give it an up to surface and pick the plane that I created and the contour, I mean, the, the region and the region are going to give the same result. So 
and as the geometry gets more complex and we have more to more to do, then we have those uh, additional op options to create compound uh, angles. And so we'll save that out and be ready for the next one.